Welcome to today's training, Monitoring Medical Device Trials and Introduction. My name is Marla Helley. I will be your instructor for today. Today we're going to look at the following learning objectives. We're going to describe the purpose for monitoring device studies. Also, we're going to look at the various types of monitoring visits and the documentation requirements that are expected by regulatory authorities when we are performing our various monitoring visits. We're going to also explore both the role and responsibility that the monitor or CRA has for each type of monitoring visit that we perform. We're also going to discuss the meaning of both the protocol and regulatory or good clinical practice compliance. And then lastly, we will recognize the rationale behind adequate documentation for monitoring, including identification of issues, corrective and preventative actions, and also the evaluation for the effectiveness of those issues, looking at both the responsibility that the site as well as the sponsor or CRO would have in that regard. So the purpose for monitoring device studies. Well, when we look at the purpose of monitoring, we first need to look at what is the definition of monitoring. And we can look at what ICH has as the definition of monitoring, which is the act of overseeing the progress of the clinical trial itself and to ensure that it's conducted, recorded, and reported in accordance with the protocol, our standard operating procedures, good clinical practice, and the applicable regulatory requirements. And we know that monitoring is deeply rooted not only in our regulations, but our laws. We need to look at also the purpose for monitoring is to ensure that we are protecting our subjects that are participating in the clinical trial. Our subjects, both safety, well-being, and then also our integrity of our data needs to be ensured while we go out and monitor. Who is it that is going to be doing the monitoring? Well, it will be our clinical research associate or our monitor. These terms are often used interchangeably. We know that CRAs can be stationed either in a field-based role or a hybrid position where they could be in-house and then go out and do monitoring visits or work solely in-house as CRAs. The CRA is going to be designated either by the sponsor of that study or through the clinical research team, so that this could also be selected by say the CRO, Contract Research Organization, to monitor the trial. And we know that monitoring is more than just going out and reviewing the data. It is ensuring that our subjects are being protected. And we do this by ensuring that the investigator is adhering to the clinical protocol, also following regulations, and also documenting correctly the data that's being captured. And monitoring can occur both through remote review of data that's entered into the database. So we can review this data looking to see if data is missing. We can look for trends in data. We could see if data has been responded to as far as queries, so we can use this centralized monitoring tool or we can perform on-site. When we do remote data monitoring, this does not mean, though, that we have access to the institution's medical record system electronically as the sponsor going in and then looking at that EMR and then the database. We are not doing that. We are looking at the data in the EDC system solely 
to see for trends, to see if missing data. So that's something also that's important to make sure of when we are doing monitoring. 